Well, that was a bit of fun. Your weekly tech update. Click Saturday and Sunday at 12.30 on the BBC News Channel. Welcome to Newsday, reporting live from Singapore. I'm Karishma Vaswani. The headlines, donors pledge more than a billion dollars to Afghanistan amid a growing humanitarian crisis. But on the ground, evidence of Taliban killings despite promises of restraint. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken defends America's withdrawal from the country, saying staying longer would not have improved anything. If 20 years and hundreds of billions of dollars in support, equipment and training did not suffice, why would another year, another five, another ten? In a new BBC series exploring the impact of extreme heat, we ask why Nigeria's oil industry is making the effects of climate change even worse. And surfing, China style. We'll reveal why catching a wave there has never been so popular. Live from our studio in Singapore. This is BBC News. It's Newsday. It's seven in the morning in Singapore and one o'clock in the morning in Geneva, where at an emergency aid conference, more than a billion dollars has been pledged to help Afghanistan. The country is facing a major humanitarian crisis with the impact of fighting and drought made worse by instability following the Taliban's takeover last month. The UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres said one in three...